uh, a few gents that served with me that would keep me on, like, hey, you're not drinking, hey, you're not doing this, and keeping me on my my path to sobriety completely. Um, I still keep in touch with the majority of my platoon from when I was in. Um, we're a tight group of brothers. We all hold each other accountable, um, you know, in everyday life, and then um, for all my mental stuff, all my PTSD, and all that stuff. It's John. I talk to John weekly, if not daily, and um, thank you. <laughs> um, for me, it, it started honestly with that counselor. That I didn't mention that counselor is actually a Marine Corps veteran herself. She was a sergeant in the Marine Corps, so she personally understood where I was coming from with the PTSD. Um, so she was the first person that really held me accountable. She'd call me every single day and make sure if I was doing this, I was pulling off of that. Like if I had a certain symptom that I was doing, she'd be like, well, what did I tell you? Don't do that, do this instead. Are you gonna go perform? Book yourself for a show, write a song, do this, do that. And so she was always constantly on me, making sure that I was on my P's and Q's. And I'm glad that you brought up uh, PTSD, I'm sorry, real quick, just because, you know, personally, I don't like it being called a disorder because I feel these are the way, these are natural, reactions to traumatic experiences that we all go through. Um, I like to call it post-traumatic growth. It's how do you grow as a result of those traumatic experiences, you know, but officially it's still called PTSD. Um, you know, I just wanted to, to say that the design of that program was having this in mind because I knew like, even though I have PTSD, <laughs> um, uh, I, I understood and I did a lot of research on the veteran population and I knew that, you know, even though I have, um, you know, I have experienced trauma, I'm still an outsider. And um, I created this program knowing that I wanted it to be primarily veteran run uh, because of the, the things that come out of it. And, you know, these guys, you know, I had a really bad PTSD episode about two and a half years ago and the only people that kept me going were um, these guys and uh, we had another Vietnam vet, Bill Weatherford, who would call me almost every day with him and his wife to make sure I was okay. And you know, and it is just that brotherhood that they they create in this um, in this program that I'm just so excited to see. And it's really important that peer to peer contact. Any other questions? Yes, in the 